Hi everyone and welcome to today's General Hospital Reaction. Sorry about yesterday. I actually went to go see a Holocaust survivor, speak about their experiences, and I, by the time I got home it was really late. So I missed yesterday, but I'm back today and well, we're daily, except if there's like, ah, something. But anyway, let's get to today's General Hospital Reaction. So, ew, Michael and Brenda's bed. Oh, that is wrong on so many different levels. So many different levels. Like, I couldn't get over it because I'm like, oh, Brenda, my God, WTF. And Carly pegging the glass right at my, uh, Brenda. And, you know, if this whole thing, I mean, it's so much more worse because Carly walked in, you know? Otherwise, it would have been like, ew, but now it's like, ew, awkward. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, it's not just because she's like two times older than him. I honestly, I'm nothing against that, but. She was married to his dad, and now, ah, uh, it's just an ick factor, you know, nothing's technically wrong, but it's, like, ick. And although AJ's really happy that it happened, from what we see, so far, spitting out his drink, and if Michael had too much to drink, then Brenda took advantage of him, you know? And he obviously doesn't remember anything, and I honestly don't think they even slept together. I think Brenda just set it up to look like that, to make... Carly mad. Because she knew Carly would have to find out eventually. You know? She just had no idea her plan would work that easily. But honestly, if he's if he had too much to do, which he obviously did, I mean, she seems coherent enough. She doesn't seem like she's had way, way too much to drink. She knew what was going on. If she was lucid enough and knew he wasn't, which he obviously wouldn't have been in the right mind to do anything, then she took advantage of him. And that is absolutely 100% wrong. I don't care if she's a supermodel. I don't care if she's a woman. You don't take advantage of other people, whether it's men or women. It, You don't take advantage of other people. And now for a different note. As much as they mention AJ and Elizabeth's performance together, I would have liked to seen it, you know, as long as they're going to bring it up, like, I think at least three times in this episode, like, then show us some of it. They didn't, sh so that just makes no sense. And, oh my god, Stavros is alive! So, and, uh, and Nicholas is awake, and then, you know, told them. So, I'm glad Nicholas is awake, because I honestly thought he was going to die. And Severus is alive, what does this mean? This is, ah, uh, that tomorrow is going to be cray. And for a final and kind of lighter note, I feel like Anna's making this whole Duke thing a lot more complicated than it has to be. She likes him. He likes her. They were once married. They kiss, they enjoy each other's company. Just be together. It's not that hard. Just be happy. All right, and uh, that goes for all of y'all. Go outside and just be happy because the weather's nice. Yeah. All right, I will, well, no, you'll see Cassie tomorrow and I'll see you Friday, I believe. We're just winging it. <laughs> I will see you again and I hope you have a great day. Bye.